do I think not being baptized in the spirit may be a hindrance? Well, I don't really necessarily believe in baptism in the spirit as a necessary separate thing from entering into a full relationship with God, which would include communication in the spirit, communication in the angelic realm, all of those things, but not in the sense of someone's going to lay hands on me and pray for me and that spirit's going to come and I'm going to fall on the floor and have that sort of encounter which may not bring any sense of maturity at all. You, people just get infatuated with spiritual manifestations. And actually, we can be very immature in the use of those spiritual manifestations, and they can be very soulish in the way they are functioned. So it doesn't mean just because spiritual things operate that there's this a proof of maturity. The ability to see and perceive in the heavenly realms and experience god in that way to me is a relational issue that requires our spirit to be trained so it talks about training our spiritual senses to be mature to discern and we need discernment discernment comes from i believe having insight into the heart of god therefore knowing the heart of god will give me insight into that love and a love relationship will give me much more insight into how to relate to God and how to experience God. I can develop my imagination to be used as a screen to be able to perceive and enter into a realm without having had, per se, the baptism of the spirit. Now, I do believe being able to commute my spirit communicate, so tongues, um, for me has been very helpful and my spirit still communicates to me in tongues even to today but I don't communicate to God in tongues because I can talk to him directly and there is a, an issue over there whether having a language which sometimes enables us to separate from our conscious mind is helpful and it may well be so I'm not saying that these things cannot be helpful but I think my spirit can develop the ability to communicate. And I did learn to communicate in tongues in my mind and just have my spirit communion continually functioning uh, in the past, which now I think people could learn without per se the baptism of the spirit experience. Because it's just training our senses to be able to perceive and see and engage and to hear. Anyone can hear the voice of God. But obviously, you need the expectation that that's possible. I didn't have that expectation in my background. Therefore, having an encounter with God, baptism, the spirit type encounter, was part of what brought me out of my mindsets into a different perspective of the reality of God's presence and being able to feel him and encounter him. And that was part of my journey. But I do believe I would encourage people to come into the fullness of that on day one of entering into a relationship with God by actually being able to see him and to open a door, engage him, enter into a personal intimate relationship. And then that relationship grow from a basis of love and not actually from the religious programming that I was in. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.